Hello everyone, Pixelmonk here and welcome to an old school RuneScape guide showing you how to complete the quest Zogar Flesh Eaters. This quest is considered intermediate difficulty and is medium length, about 30 minutes long. The requirements for this quest include 4 smithing, 8 herb lore, 30 ranged, 30 fletching, the completion of big chompy bird hunting and jungle potion quests, and the ability to defeat level 39 and level 111 enemies. The required items for this quest include knife, which is obtained in the quest, axe, feathers, nails of any metal, hammer, bowstring, wolf bones, ranged or magic gear setup, and make sure you bring the armor weapons and arrows that are appropriate, crumble undead casts if using magic gear, and 10 free inventory spaces. Although not required, it is highly recommended that you also have 43 prayer, ring of dueling, Super Restore Potions, which are obtained during the quest. Food. Stamina Potions. Ava's Accumulator if you're using a range setup. Vial of Water and Amulet of Glory. There are some maps in the description below that will help you to identify some of the key points of this quest. Open them up to keep them handy. Before we start the quest, teleport to Karamja. Collect the Rogue's Purse by going into the cave located in Northern Karamja and searching the walls of the cave with the green on it. Then walk southwest of Taibowanai and search the marshy jungle vine to get snakeweed. You're going to need these for later. You start the quest by going to Grish, who is located by Jigig. The easiest way to get there is by using your Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars and then walk directly south. Once there, talk to Grish, who will talk about Zogers making people sick. When prompted, say, what do you mean sickies? Can I help in any way? Okay, I'll check things out then and report back. And yes, I'm really sure. He will give you two super restore potions and three cooked chompy birds. Walk to the ogre guard just to the east. Talk to him and he'll open up the gate for you. Climb over the gate and walk east to a set of stairs that go down. Before you go down the stairs, be aware that you will more than likely be diseased if you are under 89 combat and will be attacked by Zogar. So keep your super restore potion handy to remedy the disease status. Take the stairs down when ready. Walk northwest to an area with a black floor. Once the cutscene is over, search the skeleton nearby and defeat the zombie that appears to receive a ruined backpack. Open the backpack to obtain a dragon in tankard, rotten food, and a knife. Drop the rotten food. Search the broken lectern nearby to receive a torn page which contains a spell. Try to search the coffin that is closest to the skeleton. Use your knife on the coffin to unlock it. Try to open the coffin again, this may take a couple of tries, and search it to get a black prism. Now you will need to go to Yanil, so use your minigame teleport to Nightmare Zone. Go to the Dragon Inn in Yanil and use the tankard you found on the bartender. He will say that the tankard belonged to a customer. Walk to the magic guild nearby and talk to Savistic Rarv. If you don't have the required level to get into the guild, then ring the bell by the front door and he will appear. Talk to him and show him all that you have found. He will tell you to talk to Sithic Ince, who is located just north of the guild. Walk into the house just north and head to the top floor. Sithic is in the bed that is to the west. Talk to him. When prompted, say, do you know anything about the undead ogres at Jigig? After talking with him, search the drawers, cupboards, and wardrobe in his room. You should receive a book of portraiture, necromancy book, papyrus, charcoal, and a book of ham. Read all three books. Use a book of portraiture on Sithic and then use the papyrus on him. Once you're done, use a portrait on him. If Sithic says that he appreciates the truth of the portrait, then you'll need to do it again. You can find more papyrus by searching through the drawers. If he says that he appreciates the honesty of the portrait, you have done it correctly. Take the portrait and the tankard and use them on the bartender who will then sign the portrait. Talk to Savistic Rarv again while holding the necromancy book, the book of ham, the portrait, and the tankard and say, I have some items that I'd like you to take a look at. He will give you a strange potion. Go back to Sithic and use the potion on the cup of tea that is located on the top of Sithic's dresser. Go downstairs and then back upstairs to see that he is turned into an ogre. Talk to him again and ask all three questions in order to learn how to make the Relysum's Balm and Brutal Arrows. You make the Relysum's Balm by using the Rogue's Purse on the Vial of Water and then the Snakeweed. 
Now you'll need to make brutal arrows, but before you do, make sure you have extra arrows in your inventory as making brutal arrows is time consuming. First chop down an achy tree. They are all around Gutenoth. Fletch them into ogre arrow shafts, add feathers, and then nails while the hammer is in your inventory. Make as many as you wish. Return to Grish and talk with him again and go through every option given. He'll give you a key. Chop down another achy tree and use your knife on the achy tree logs while you have the wolf bones in your inventory to make composite ogre bow. Use your Relysum's Balm on Uglug Nar, who is located nearby Grish, which will give you access to the store that will sell 100 Relysum's Balms. Before we proceed any further, let's talk about the final boss. You will be fighting a level 111 Zogar named Slash Bash. He has a max hit of 15 and attacks with ranged and melee. It is highly recommended that you use Protect from Range at all times when fighting him. He may also inflict disease on you, so make sure you have your Super Restore potions ready. He is weak to brutal arrows and crumble undead, so choose either a range or magic gear setup. If you are using a ranged gear setup, equip your composite ogre bow and brutal arrows to take him down faster. There are multiple safe spots that are located in the room that you will fight him in. Enter the cave in Jigig, the same one you entered earlier, and head west to Stone Doors. Enter the two doors and continue down the stairs. Walk to the end of a long room and search the stand. He will start to attack. Once defeated, collect the items that he drops and return to Grish to complete the quest. Do not bury the bones. Instead, use them at a gilded altar for more experience. Congratulations, you have received one quest point. Orig Bones, Zogar Bones, 2,000 Fletching Experience, 2,000 Ranged Experience, 2,000 Herb Lore Experience, the ability to make brutal arrows and cure disease potions. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. If you did, please subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.